Welcome to webcast number 4 for AxiMS.net version 9. In the first webcast we defined our layout, our template for our 10minutes.com website. So we had here the logo and website selector and so on. This we defined the first. The second we set up a structure. We set up a navigation structure and in this case we have solutions, products, references and so on. In the third webcast, we made a page and we assigned this page to the navigation point solutions. This is an empty page we would like to fill now with content. For that, we go here in this area and click on Edit. And we have now the possibility to add in this page, for example, a text. The text is added in the page directly and we call that solutions with axiomas.net we can assign to this text this style I would like to refer back to the first webcast and in the first webcast we defined our text elements and we defined that we need these four main text styles the developer has now the possibility to add the buttons here to display the style for the editor so that the editor sees in advance what style he wants to use and he can add the style now to this text like I did it. Any kind of style which can be displayed with CSS can be added to axiomas.net. By clicking in the outside area this text is saved. I would like to add now an image and a text below. This means I would like to add a structure element. I have a structure element here for an image and a text. First I would like to add the image. I have my documents, my images stored here and the thumbnails. I can choose solutions and the image is added to my web page. I would like now to add a text but this text I don't want to type now. I have it prepared in my first webcast. I was preparing a Word document and in this Word document I prepared the text I need for my new website. In this case I need solutions and this is the text I would like to insert in my web page this I copy it, I switch to my web page and here I paste it. By clicking in the outside area this text is saved. By clicking on preview I can see how the page looks like. Now I could publish it or I could request publishing if I would like that somebody else is reviewing the content and publishing it then afterwards. In my next webcast, I will show you how to add more complex structure elements or dynamic content to a web page.